folks, welcome back to a, another dev blog for the farming and community life simulator game Homefront Harvest. This game takes place uh, a little bit after the turn of the century in the United States, a time when innovation was happening at a rapid pace, there was conflict and disease, and a lot of change in society. Um, this is dev blog 4. So as I said, gotten a little bit better with the the Godot game interface. Um, you can see it's currently raining here. I've been having a little bit of exploration time with uh, the Godot particle system. Uh, there's a fantastic explanation um, or demonstration of a person who I think is using Unity of, of beautiful rain. This obviously isn't <laughs> needs to be tuned up, um, but just the ease and flexibility of the particle system is nice. I also added a particle leaf that you'll see floating around in the game. Uh, I've spruced up the, the sprites a bit. Uh, so these, I didn't originally draw these, but I'm going to be able to make them my own as, as time goes by. And added a UI inventory system just to, just to demonstrate it and see, see how it's working. So let's see, the, the particle systems are pretty straightforward. You just need in Godot to make um, a node that is the uh, particles 2D node. Uh, and then what you'll be able to do from particles 2D down here is have all of these different kinds of, of things, change them so that you can start to see um, what they do you know, you can increase the amount of your particles or decrease it, make it a heavier, more dense rain or, you know, less so. Um, there are a lot of resources with the particle system uh, that you can really get into. Here are leaves floating around and just add so many more uh, for the fall time that will definitely come in handy. Uh, for the inventory, uh, there was a great YouTube video talking about uh, the inventory. Here are my print statements that I'll actually just get rid of. Um, that you can find on YouTube, and I'll link the one that I used. But essentially, it comes down to creating a different game manager or managers, and then you can start populating an items uh, database. So, what's nice about this items database is that I can start just duplicating uh, this data. So I have uh, properties of my items that let's see <clears throat> that I've set up. And uh, when you make a new item, you have uh, the ability to manipulate over here without going to the code. So Harpbeast, who is another great uh, YouTuber around Godot in pixel art, talks about, you know, when you get down to it after you've built the infrastructure of your game, you don't want to spend a lot of time in the code exactly. What you want to be able to do is when you're, you're uh, updating content is just, uh, I think, add the content. So make it, make it easy on yourself build the infrastructure that will make it easy on yourself to um, to expand your content without coding it. And so I'm still at the beginnings of this here, making the infrastructure, uh, but definitely have that in mind. So this is the structure of my game, uh, world, uh, time system. Uh, dirt is the first tile set layer, um, and then experimenting with with different things uh, <clears throat> around the game. So you can have, for example, the Y sort is what allows us to run in front and behind objects. Uh, but I have a, a Y sort for trees, so I, I can condense all of the trees down into um, just group them all together. So let's let's run the game and take a look at it. Um, but essentially, start out here with the character. I had a problem in the last video where GIFs about um, scratches in the, the pixel art, and that 
that actually turned out to be just in the project settings. Uh, if you go to quality, and now I'm not going to be able to find it. <clears throat> uh, here, quality. You can use Pixel Snap, and that'll get uh, divert the uh, the cutting, the tearing of the pixel map. So again, the Y sort is great, so that you can interact here uh, in your game. There, are the particle leaves going around here is my inventory that's just sitting out uh, in the open. You can see I have three pieces of coal in my inventory. And then what I'm going to be able to do is add this item, which I did uh, there. Uh, the other pixel art, just experimenting with a small little forest here. And then going up to encounter my particle rain. even though it's, it looks more like hail or snow at the moment. So this past week, I feel like I've, I'm getting, getting better, more um, attuned to the Godot gaming engine. Uh, I've been doing a lot of odds and ends things, just increasing the game feel of Homefront Harvest. Uh, I think the next step blogs will need to focus on the game loop itself, but I've had a lot of fun um, adding things here and there, and then figuring out how things work in uh, in Godot. So a quick little update today. Uh, if you're interested in, in following the game, you can take a look at the Homefront Harvest subreddit, uh, post updates there, including things that I find about World War, around World War I time period that I post that are just interesting to me and hopefully will some someday make their way into the game. Uh, there is the Discord. I'll put these links down below that you can see um, and join and join the conversation. So it helps me out if you'd like and subscribe. Hopefully this is interesting to you. I, I want to socialize this game as much as possible so that I don't build something that people don't want to play. Uh, I want to be able to have a community uh, to share ideas and to get feedback. And so it's, it's great uh, to see that people are interested in this game, that, that people are subscribing and watching. So anyway, uh, until next week, I will talk to you later. Have a great week.